everyone, so in this video we're going to set up server side add insertion with S3 Bubble. So we're going to jump right in. So we're going to be using the S3 Bubble desktop app to just do some uploading. So let's go ahead and we've clipped a file with the desktop app and we're just going to go to the uploader. And we've just got the sing trailer here and we're going to go ahead and just upload a single file. Click save. We're going to select our bucket. Um, we're going to put it in our storage bucket. Okay. And then we're just going to call this um, sing. Let's say server side add insertion. Okay, we can keep it private. Uh, let's just upload. Well, actually, let's just put it in the root folder because we don't really need it in its own folder. Uh, but you can feel free to put it in its own folder if that's what you want to do. So we're going to pause the video where this uploads. Okay, great. So as you can see, that is now uploaded to our bucket. So we can simply close this, close this, go over to SP Bubble Desktop App, and let's just run a refresh. Okay, and then we'll be able to see. That our song has been uploaded to Amazon. Okay, so let's go ahead and just encode this. Um, oh, actually, sorry. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and um, create some markers for our VMAP uh, add insertion. Okay, so let's build a VMAP. Okay, so you can see we've got our file here. This is Sing. So what we'll do is let's add three ads. And we're going to be using this um, fast tag so you can see it's really simple just build it out ourselves it's got a progressive video and it's going to this cloud front distribution so you can build out fast with our ad builders but let's just go ahead and take this and we're going to have one at the start um, then we'll have one at the end okay we'll put these in here we'll just give them break IDs and then let's just pick a pick a point in the middle so let's just go somewhere around there so it's not going to be very accurate but we're just going to pick a point at say 107 so we're going to have an ad at the beginning an ad at the end and an ad at about 101 1 minute 7 seconds okay and we're using our custom advertising setup so let's go ahead and just save this setup to a bucket we're going to save it in our delivery bucket because we're going to be using this so we're going to put it in an ads folder and we'll call this sing server site add insertion okay so you don't need to add any extension just add it like that okay and then we'll go yes and then you can see we've got our ad here but let's create a CloudFront URL from this so we've got a CloudFront URL okay create copy okay and then let's just take a look at what we've got so if I just paste this in you can see that we've created a VMAP file and um, we've got one at the start okay one time offset at 107 and then we've got one at the end so let's go ahead and set up our server side ad insertion so we can simply go back um, to the storage bucket and what we need to do first is encode our video to HLS. This also works with Dash, but I'm just going to be covering HLS in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and just go and encode this. So we want it in our delivery bucket. Uh, output folder, let's just use a random ID. CloudFront distribution, we'll use the one that's set up. And for the job template, we're going to be using the AWS recommended for AWS HLS template. And click Submit. So let's go ahead and view this okay now our jobs progressing now what I'll do is I'll pause the video where this completes okay great so you can see our video is now encoded let's go ahead and view the player so let's take our um, don't worry about that it's just it says too many nice jobs so we'll take our URL and we're just going to test it in the JW player tester so let's just test the stream so what you'll see is this is playing now and it's the sing trailer um, but what we haven't done is we haven't added any ads to this yet so there's no ad insertion so let's go back and grab our VMAP file that we generated. We go back to our player, okay, and then go to server side add insertion. We can enter our URL in there, and this is going to be sing server side add insertion, okay. And then we can create our config, okay, and then we'll go and view that now. Okay, so we've got our server side, I'm um, sorry, we've got our config here that's been set up with Media Taylor with AWS, and um, we've got a HLS manifest and we will now have our ad stitched into it okay so what we can do is we can go and paste this into JW player let's test the stream now to start off with just to note it's uh, oh well, it's went through pretty quick there but it normally takes a while so you can see we've got our ad at the start here and then what will happen is then we'll have another ad at kind of about one minute seven so this should stop playing in 15 seconds and then we'll start the content okay and then there's going to be another one around about here so you should see it coming soon. So 
15 so there we go so we've got add there and then we've got a post roll at the end so this is actually embedded and stitched into the stream this is not using any kind of um, overlaid ads this is service like ad insertion um, and what you can do now is um, you can create a HLS player with S3 bubble okay and click yes and then what we can do is then I'll paste this into a test WordPress website so all you need to do is you can just simply paste this HTML anywhere into your website if you've got the plugin installed we'll just grab the code because we're going to use the um, block editor just grab your code here paste it in here okay and then publish and now if we go and view our video you can see that we've got our UI set up so it will tell us how long's left in the ads it tells us where the ads are um, it won't let us skip to the right to the end so after this ads played if I try and skip over here or make us watch this advert here okay so it's a good way to monetize via adverts so if I try and skip let's see it'll push them back and make them watch the previous ad so they can't just skip over ads um, and this is a great way to monetize your content using server-side ad insertion and S3 bubble okay so I hope this video helps